Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to create custom functions using the new Lambda function, which is available in Excel 365. Let me just show you what we're going to achieve in this video. I'm going to click in this cell here, F3, and you can see up here I have a brand new function called Retail. That is a function that I have created, and what it does is this calculation. It works out the retail price based on a wholesale price and a markup. Also down here, I've created a function called percent difference. And that function does this calculation. It calculates the difference between these two year sales and then divides by the first year sales. And that gives us the percentage difference. So we're going to look at how to create these custom functions. Let's start off with a blank sheet here. Uh, let's do the formula first of all, just to get our heads around the calculation. So I've got my wholesale price here. To add the markup, I'd say times by open bracket one plus the 10%. If I copy that down, it works out the retail price. A little bit of formatting needed. Now, if I was to do this same formula using the Lambda function, it would look like this. Lambda. The first argument is parameter or calculation. We've got to state our parameters here. The first parameter would be price, comma, and the second parameter would be markup. So these are like the arguments within a function, the two parts to the calculation, the price and the markup. Then the last argument has to be the calculation that you're going to perform on these parameters. And our calculation is the price times open bracket one plus the markup. And I close the bracket. Now for the moment, we will have to supply the two values, one for price, one for markup. Open up another bracket and you need to specify the price first of all, because it's the first parameter. So that would be here, comma, and then the second parameter markup would be here. Close the bracket, press enter. And you can see it does the same calculation. You're now asking yourself, why would I write all that when I can just write that? And that's a very good question. Now, the trick is to convert your Lambda formula into a custom function. And to do that, you select everything up to that last pair of brackets. And I copy it, enter. Then I go to the formulas tab on my ribbon, name manager, new, and I give the function of name could be whatever you like. So I'll call this retail. And you paste your Lambda formula down here at the bottom. You can put a comment in, which will appear as a little screen tip when you write the formula. We will say calculates the retail price from the given price and markup. Click on OK. And I now have my retail function. So if I click on close, then I can click in this cell and type retail. And you can see it appears in the IntelliSense list. If I click on it, it gives me the screen tip I wrote in the comments area of the name dialog box. Double click on this. So I have to know the arguments. That would be price, comma, and markup. Close the bracket, press enter, and it does the calculation for me. So this would be very useful if you've produced a spreadsheet for some people and they're not sure of the maths or whatever, you can just create them a little function that will ease the calculation for them. Or you may have written a very complicated formula and you'd prefer to just house it within one of these custom functions. Let's do another one. This time we've got two years sales. 2019, 2020, and I need to work out the percentage difference. So the way I would normally do this is I'd say open bracket, this minus this, the difference divided by the first year sales. And pre-formatted these sales to show as percentage, but you can see it calculates the percentage for me. If I was to do a Lambda formula for this, parameter or calculation, so I could say first year, it's my first parameter, second year as my second parameter. Then I'll do the calculation. That is second year minus first year 
divided by first year. Close the bracket and then I supply some values initially. First year is here, B13, second year is here. Close the bracket, press enter, it works out the same results. But to make this useful, I need to create a custom function that does this calculation. So I copy everything, excluding what's in that last pair of brackets. I go up to formulas, name manager, new, and I'll call this percentage difference, paste in my formula. And again, you can put a comment if you like, calculates the percentage difference between the given first year and second year sales. Close that. So down here, I can type percent difference. There it is. Select it. There's my comment. Open bracket. And then all I have to do is select the first year and then the second year. Close the bracket and it works out the calculation for me. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Just a basic introduction to using the new Lambda function. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.